Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time seeing me, hi, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Um, I have another haul planned for you guys today. It is Verge Girl and Brandy Melville. I got quite a few good pieces that I'm very excited to wear in the summer. And yeah, you can just get started. I've got nothing else to say. So the first thing I got from Birch Girl was this vegan leather um, kind of blazer. I've tried all these on for you guys because it's so hard for me to give decent opinions when I actually have the clothes on. I need to like have it on, sit, process, and then speak. I'll obviously insert and try on clip. But this blazer, I got it in a size six. Once again, I just need to stop going off of what the models wear because I thought this was going to be oversized and it fits me like perfectly. It fits me to a tee, you guys will see on the try on clip, which is okay because I have an actual leather jacket that I like to wear for the spring that is a bit more oversized. So it's nice to have an option that's a bit more fitted if I don't want to wear something oversized. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, it has these lapels. It doesn't have any buttons, so it's literally just like shell, just shell. Yeah, I'll try it on. This is cute. This is really cute. Here's the blazer. Listen, we can't hate because it's crinkled because that's my fault. This is actually just my OOTD today. Both of these items were actually in my last haul. So if you like them and want to know where these guys are from, watch my last video. And I'm actually really happy that I got it in a size 6 because it's not that oversized. Like, it just fits me perfectly. 10 out of 10 for the blazer. The second item I got were these... Uh, <laughs> were these vegan leather pants as well. Um, I saw them on the website. I was kind of hesitant to get them because I don't... I'm not, like, not a fan of contrast stitching. I just... I'm not a fan of contrast stitching. But when I actually got these, I was pleasantly surprised that it's not a very stark white. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know, maybe it looks super stark in the video, but I found that when I was wearing them, it wasn't white stitching on black pants, which I thought was really nice. I got these in a size eight. I mean, I feel like a lot of women have this struggle where it's hard to find pants that fit your thighs as well as your waist and hips. So that was the case with these pants. They fit beautifully on my thighs. If I had gotten a size down, they wouldn't have gone on my legs. Now, uh, with the size 8, the waist is also a bit bigger. So I find that it's a little baggy in the waist and the crotch area. Which is just annoying because the thighs, like... The legs of my thighs and my butt so beautifully but then you get to my waist and, and it's just not giving anymore out if you guys have hips just be mindful of that let's try these guys on here are these pants once again they like come down to the perfect length get my thighs beautifully <laughs> but like Which is a shame. Like, I don't know. I don't even know if these ones could be fixed because the gaping is just so bad. But like, look. Oh. <sighs> they had so much potential. I don't know, maybe they could be saved. I don't, I like honestly don't know. Keep these pants. Get a nice six. The third item I got was this really nice green dress and it has this kind of crisscross detailing in the front i got this in a size small i don't think i have a super big head but this part was really hard to get my head into just putting that out there everything else fit really nicely i thought the sleeves were a little tight on my arms it's a midi dress i'm in love with the color and this would be like a really nice off oh, like 
going out for dinner just be like a really nice cocktail dress but it could also be like you know just a casual like what's up park dress let's try it on here's this dress like really beautiful oh, yeah it is so beautiful and this little detailing here just like gives me very much Leela from Futurama type vibes. I don't even know if she wore anything similar to this kind of dress, but that's just what it makes me think of. Like her with her purple ponytail. Sleeves go down to a nice length. I love this dress. This dress is so pretty. I just hate putting it on. And for putting it on, I give it a 3 out of 10 for the actual dress itself. She gets a 8.7 out of 10. The last item I got from Birch Girl was this cowl neck. It looks like a handkerchief. I can't with myself. It is a cowl halter neck kind of top that ties in the back. This isn't super cropped. Like I feel it goes down past my belly button, which I really like because I'm able to wear it with low rise jeans um, and also with high rise jeans, but I like that it's not completely cropped. It's like you gave me some length in the front and then there's like nothing in the back, just two strings. So let's try it on. Oh, like this top is so beautiful. And then the back is just very much string. My handkerchief top gets a solid 10 out of 10. Then at the second store at Brandy, I got just like some basics, um, I'm not really into their graphic tees or anything like that, but I, they had some really cute tank tops that a girl just had to get. So the first item from Brandy was this little tank top. It's like an off-white, like cool tone beige. Ooh, look at me using those descriptive words, hi. I haven't tried these guys on to be honest, so. Yeah, it's not cropped, it goes all the way down. And yeah, let's try it on. Here's this tank top. I like the fit of this tank top better than the dark brown one. I feel like this one is still like, comes high up on my armpits, but because it has a high neck, you're like committing to the look, you know? 8.5 out of 10. The second tank top I got from Brandy was this brown one. It's this beautiful, cool tone, dark brown, which, I love, I just love browns now. I'm so glad that brown is like an in color. It will forever be in for me. I just grew up thinking that brown was doo-doo color and it is actually not, it is not. Brown is beautiful. Similar to the other one, but this one has slimmer sleeves. Yeah, let's try it on. Here's this top. I do think that the armholes are a little too small for my liking, but regardless, I do think this is a very cute shirt. Mm, I'll do like a 7.5 out of 10. And then the last top I got from Brandy was this button up. Um, it's this cream kind of button up cardigan. I have this exact top in their long sleeve version. But yeah, let's try it on. Here's this top and I think it is so cute. And then if you want, you can even like unbutton it a bit more here. I love this neckline. It is low, but it's not like too low. And if you want to be a bit more like, hey, you can unbutton it a little bit. Absolute 10 out of 10. Now on to pants. I got these like yoga pants from Brandy. I've, I've already worn these. Yeah, they're really comfortable. They're very flattering. Yeah. Let's try these on. Here are these pants. They are like leggings at the top, flares at the bottom, not see-through. And yeah, I think they're super flattering. I give these guys a solid nine out of 10. And then I got the same pants, just in a cream kind of color. It's the same kind of cool toned beige as the tank top that I showed you guys. If you bent down in either of these pants, like you're covered, you're good. It's got my stamp of approval. Let's try these on. Here are the same pants, just in the beige color. They both kind of do this thing up here where you can either like wear them flip down or wear them up high. I rate these guys a solid 9.5 out of 10. And then 
I got these jeans. Now, let me just say something about Brandy Melville jeans. Throughout my entire, throughout all my 21 years of life, I have never found a pair of jeans that has fit me as well as Brandy Melville jeans. Straight up, nothing. And it's just the same issue as the Verge Girl pants. It's always, it either fits your thighs and your butt, and then they're like, just not fitting it on the waist or they hit or they fit your waist and then your bum and your thighs are being suffocated and crunched and they're just not comfortable and then you take off your pants at the end of the day and you have like the inseam line like stamp on your thighs <sighs> heartbreaking but brandy malville jeans i bought one pair maybe like three years ago and those jeans are literally my ride or die jeans and they fit me so perfectly they come up just below my belly button they just hug everywhere so nicely and there's a nice straight leg fit they're not skinny jeans they're not super baggy they're just like the perfect jeans so when i went to brandy malvo i was like i need to find another pair of those jeans because my jeans are like now chafing in the thigh and i'm getting little holes and i'm like i'm not getting rid of these pants like i will put patches until there is no cloth left on those jeans i and i was so surprised too like brandy melva of all places i found the perfect jeans for me anyways coming back to the product themselves i basically just got another pair of jeans i have one similar to these that i wear literally all the time because they are the only jeans that i feel comfortable in so they're these ones they are a beautiful wash straight leg fit Oh my gosh straight leg fit these guys have a button enclosure i got a bone to pick with button enclosures my other ones have a zip um i just wasn't looking that hard when i was actually purchasing them i always get so lazy with button enclosures i always just like do up the top button and call it a day because i just can't be bothered to do up every single button let's try them on here are these jeans my ride or die jeans that come down perfectly fit nice on the thighs and what come up to the perfect height they're just like the most flattering jeans i have ever got but i rate these jeans a solid 10 out of 10 solid 20 out of 10 10 000 out of 10 actually no that's not true 10 out of 10 because of the button enclosure my zip ones get a thousand out of ten then the final item i got from brandy were these low waist wide leg pants um i don't know i want to call them a jean because they kind of feel like a jean they're not like a typical trouser material but i think these are super cute the back is like like these kind of pockets you know and they're kind of more like flared than straight leg see like they go down perfect Fit my thighs, cute. Um, from the front, yeah, they look nice. And then from the side, but like I said, it's like a quick fix. Just, you know, do a quick little tailor here. And then we're good. And we're back in business. I do really like these pants though. Solid. 8.5 out of 10. So that is the entire haul. I hope you guys liked all of these items and maybe found some inspiration for things that you might get. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. I will leave the link to all of the items down below in the description bar. And yeah, have a great day, guys.